If I'm not careful, off the grid living can put me into a rut of a chore driven life. So I decided to take a day off and bushwhacked up to a hidden little lake near my cabin. I became mesmerized by the carnivorous sundews along the shorelines and started imagining I was starring in a cult classic horror film, battling man-eating plants. And then I heard something and spotted a river otter swimming towards me. Oh my God, so cool. Buddy, little dog. River otters inhabit both coastal and inland waterways, but we rarely see them anymore due to what I believe is the increasing cougar populations around here. Large males can weigh up to 30 pounds and measure four and a half feet in length. Otters must continually groom their fur to maintain its insulating qualities. They have two layers of thick hair. The dense silky underfur is covered by short glossy guard hairs and this guy had a long groom session. But he eventually started hunting. We couldn't tell at first what he caught. Otters have a varied diet. He's loving life. Their staple is fish, but they also eat mollusks, crayfish, insects, frogs, reptiles, and even berries, birds, and small animals. This otter seemed to have a hunting strategy my friends and I had never seen or heard of before. It was clearly blowing bubbles. He's totally bubble netting. No way. That's awesome, hey? He's bubble netting like a whale. That's, I've never heard of that. He finally came up with a clearly seen fish, and we just happened to be doing stream assessment work checking fry traps in the hopes of finding baby coho salmon. Look at it, just vibrating. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's full of fish. Big one. All we found were these beautiful cutthroat trout, the lunch of this river otter.
Oh my god. Pretty big radius too. Whoa. 